I, I think here yeah. I can bring in the example of Salesforce, uh, mm -hmm. one of the leading enterprise software company, mm -hmm. which recently <laughs> retrenched uh, 4,000 employees. Mm -hmm. Now, they re in a recent report, they are rethinking on it because some of the, in a real world experience, the AI agents failed. That's what the report says. So there are, I mean, I think, I think the hype, like I said, is far ahead of reality, right? So the core technology that's being used in AI, right, relies on predicting the most likely outcome, right? And of course, there are a lot of variations in the world and the AI, because of the nature of the technology, is able to, you know, adapt to some of these variations. But if there is something that it has never seen in the training, it never seen before, it never happened before, it's a new, new situation that comes up, right? It wouldn't know what to do. I mean, that might not be a natural way to you know, kind of extrapolate from mm. what it has seen so far, right? Yeah. So, so within say, suppose it, I, I know what to do in, in A, I know what to do in B, then I, I can possibly do something in the mid midpoint A, B. But if I have to do something that's like 10 times away from B, I might not know what to do there, right? So, so whatever is within the scope of my experience, I'll be able to do it. Too far outside what I have been trained on, I will not be able to do it. Because the AI is not forming a specific theory, it's not thinking about, hey, why does the world behave the way it does? I've observed the world is behaving this way. And I'll use that to make any predictions, answer any questions about what will happen in the future. But I'm not forming a theory about, so this is what people call causal, causal theories. right? It really doesn't form a causal theory about how the world is going to behave. So it doesn't know about how things, what, what will happen in situations that it has not seen in the training at all. So that is exactly what is happening in the Salesforce situation. They probably are coming across, you know, new ways of doing business or new queries that have come in that they never had a chance to look at before. It could very well be that you are getting an AI maintenance query, which you had never been trained on because there were no AI maintenance to worry about in the past. So mm. in your past data, you might not have had this. Just by introducing an AI tool into the picture, you are now creating new, new scenarios Correct. which you can't yeah, trade yeah, on. Yeah. So these kinds of things, it it might fail on you. So you need to, I mean, the way people are fixing it now is to kind of put a bandage, you know. They generate more training data on the things that this has failed on and then they try to do this, right? Yeah. So, so it's not quite where humans are. Humans actually reason about these things saying, hmm, okay, so what will I do in this situation? I did something like that earlier, but then that's not what is causing the problem. So we can actually do this kind of reasoning. Yeah. While the AI models are not yet there, even though whatever they call as reasoning models and so on and so forth are not quite there.